Tress way. Punts it. Good kick. Rolls up. Oh, he gets blasted. The ball is loose, and there's a flag. To Shazer Everett, and now there's a scrum breaking loose. And it's ugly. That was a high, hard shot on Sproles. And the Eagles standing up with their teammate. Mm. See this in regular speed. It was so loud within the stadium. <laughs> Definitely contact to the head and neck area by the safe the Shazer Everett. He is defenseless. The ball had not even arrived. Sproles definitely defenseless. And I gotta tell you, I don't blame. These Eagles remembered Everett already took out Brent Selleck. Now Darren Sproles down on the ground. And I don't blame those Eagles for going out and defending their teammate. Now you see a lot of hits nowadays, John, when you know head and shoulders end up going up high on someone that it happens. That one was avoidable. And Sproles lays down as they tend to him. Everett's got two now shots to the head in this game. And obviously the concern here is for Darren Sproles. Personal foul. Kicking team number 22. Interference with the opportunity to catch a kick. 15-yard penalty and first down. So this is Everett, the gunner on this play. Sproles hadn't had an opportunity to catch it. He goes right in at the head. And fans booing here in Philadelphia. Let's bring in Mike Pereira from Los Angeles. Sproles is up. Good news there. Mike, on that play, what'd you see for us? Yeah, I mean, you know, look at this is clearly a defenseless player. He's listed in the book. A person trying to feel the punt is defenseless. So you can't hit him in the head or neck area with your helmet, shoulder, forearm. A lot of people are talking about should he be ejected from the game. I don't think he should be. It's a missed time thing. It's a football play, but clearly a foul. And uh, you heard Tony Carini mention to get both teams to the bench. That's kind of to calm down people and also to give them time to take care of Sproles, which... Glad to hear he's back up on.